If you're a backend engineer and you haven't started learning this one skill yet, you're about to be left behind. And I'm not talking about some new Python framework or database technology. I'm talking about something that's changing every single backend system being built today. Now, let me ask you something. When you built your last API, what did it do? Probably took some data from a database, maybe did some calculations and sent it back to the front end, right? That's what we've always done. If you were a backend engineer in the last five years, your job has been pretty straightforward. Someone gives you requirements, you design a database schema, maybe write some API endpoints, maybe add some data validation and call it done. And of course, you know, there's some technical complexity in there, but I'm just trying to keep it simple. That's what backend engineering is, but it's changing. Let me tell you about my friend, Sarah. She's been a backend engineer for eight years, mostly working on e-commerce platforms. Really solid engineer, the kind of person who could build you a rock solid backend that handles thousands of requests without breaking a sweat. In early 2023, her company's product manager came to the engineering team with a request that seemed very difficult. Our competitors are using AI to write product descriptions automatically. Our merchants are spending hours writing descriptions and they're asking why we can't just like generate them on the back end. Now, Sarah's first reaction was, you know, that's not a back end problem. That's an AI problem. Someone else can go figure that out. Companies like OpenAI have already built these incredibly powerful models and they're offering them as APIs. Just like how you might call the Stripe API to process payments, she could call the OpenAI API to generate text. So Sarah built her first AI-powered backend feature. She created an endpoint that took basic product information like category, price, and key features and sent it to OpenAI's API with a carefully crafted prompt and context. The AI would then return a professional product description, then her API would then get that response and save it to the database. The thing here is that Sarah is not an AI engineer though, right? She stayed a backend engineer. She just learned how to integrate AI into systems she was already good at building. And that's what's clicking for many people right now. The people integrating LLMs and AI into their backend applications is falling under the backend engineering umbrella. So, what do backend engineers really need to know here? Like, what do you actually need to learn to be successful? The good news is if you're already a competent backend engineer, you're like already 80% of the way there. The core skills remain the same. Designing APIs that are fast and reliable and secure, working with databases, handling errors gracefully, managing external service calls, and writing clean, maintainable code. But there's some new concepts that are now falling into like that five bullet points that you need to know. And I'm calling this the five step roadmap to getting started with AI integration. So like step one is to learn the basics of AI APIs. You need to start by playing with open AI's API. You need to sign up for an account, get an API key and build something simple maybe a script that takes a paragraph of text and summarizes it, or one that analyzes the mood of customer feedback. Don't worry about building anything complex, just get comfortable with making API calls to AI services and handling the responses. Now, step two is to understand how to prompt well in context engineering. This is crucial. Spend time learning how to write effective props and understand how to get correct context windows in place. The difference between a bad prompt and a good prompt can make a complete difference between, you know, a useless response and an incredibly helpful one. Step three is to learn async, Python, and fast API. If you don't already know async, Python, learn it now. AI API calls take time and you need to handle them without blocking your server. Build a simple fast API application that integrates with an AI service. Start with something basic and go from there. Now, step four is to practice error handling and cost management. AI APIs can get expensive and can be unpredictable. Practice building systems that handle API timeouts gracefully. Cache responses to avoid unnecessary API calls. Monitor costs to prevent budget overruns and validate AI responses to make sure that they're the expected format. And then step five is think about the real problems in your domain. Don't just build toy examples. Think about your current job or projects that you've worked on now or in the past. What tasks are repetitive and time consuming? What decisions require analyzing lots of data? What processes could be made smarter with AI? For example, if you've built e-commerce platforms, think about product recommendations, maybe search improvements or automated customer services. If you built content management systems, think about, you know, auto-generating summaries, maybe tags or SEO-optimized descriptions. 
If you've built business applications, think about automated reporting, maybe data analysis or workflow optimization. Now, what's the overall opportunity here? I want to address something I hear from a lot of backend engineers. Is AI going to replace us? I truly believe the answer is no. But backend engineers who don't learn to work with AI might get replaced by backend engineers who do. Because it is inevitable that backend engineering productivity is increasing when they use AI. Now, it might not be as drastic as like the AI hypers want you to know, but it is improving. Think about it this way. Now, it's not the same, but it's like sort (laughs) of when cloud computing became mainstream, did it eliminate the need for backend engineers? No. It eliminated some positions for the need for backend engineers who only knew how to manage physical servers. The engineers who learned to work with, you know, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud became more valuable than ever. AI is kind of showing the same pattern here. It's not eliminating backend engineering. It's evolving what backend engineering means. The engineers who learn to integrate AI into the systems are going to be the most valuable engineers in the industry. And here's the thing. You have a massive advantage if you start learning this now. Most backend engineers are still in the wait and see phase. They're waiting for AI to stabilize or their company to mandate that they need to learn it or for someone else to figure out like the best practices and then they can like figure that out after. But the companies that are integrating AI successfully are the ones whose engineers are already starting to experiment. They're the ones who built internal tools to test different AI models, who figured out the best prompting and context engineering strategies for the specific use cases. If you start today, you'll be ahead of 90% of other backend engineers, I can almost guarantee it, because they're still waiting for permission to start learning. Let me be concrete about what this means for your career. Right now, if you're a backend engineer, you probably get job opportunities that you know pay well, depending on your experience and your location. These are good jobs. There are lots of engineers who can build standard CRUD APIs, and AI is making it easier. But if you can build intelligent systems, systems that don't just store and retrieve data, but actually help users accomplish their goals, you're in a completely different category. These are the engineers that startups and big companies are currently fighting over. These are the engineers that get promoted to technical lead roles. These are the engineers who get equity offers and consulting opportunities. I've seen this firsthand. Engineers who integrated AI into their company's products are getting promoted faster and getting better job offers and having more influence on product decisions. So what's coming? There's a famous quote, the future is here, but it's not evenly distributed. That perfectly describes where we are with AI and backend engineering right now. Some companies are already building incredibly powerful AI systems. Their backend engineers are integrating large language models. They might be diving into computer vision and predictive analytics into everything they build. These companies are moving fast, building probably better products and outcompeting companies that haven't made this transition yet. So all companies are starting to ramp up on how they can integrate LLMs. But most companies are still building traditional backend systems. Their engineers are still thinking about databases and caching and API design without considering how AI could improve these systems. Now, what I just mentioned is not going away. But the gap between these two groups is only getting bigger and bigger. And the engineers who bridge that gap are going to have incredible opportunities. So here's what I think the next five years are going to look like. So like 2026 is coming up. I think AI integration becomes table stakes for any new backend project period. Customers expect software to be intelligent and companies that can't deliver smart features start falling behind and losing some market share. The following two years, so 2027 and 2028, traditional backend roles start requiring AI skills. So job descriptions for senior backend engineers will include requirements like experience with LLM integration and understanding of prompt and context engineering. 2029 and 2030, this is when the distinction between backend engineer and like an AI engineer starts becoming very blurred. All backend engineers are expected to understand how to work with AI, just like we're all expected to understand databases, APIs, and security today. Now, I don't feel like this is fully speculation because this is like already happening at forward thinking companies. The question is whether you want to be ahead of this trend or behind it. Let me paint a picture of what your career could look like if you like embrace this shift. Instead of being an engineer who builds APIs that returns data, you become the engineer who builds APIs that solve problems. Instead of just implementing requirements, you start suggesting intelligent features that could transform the user experience. 
You become the person that product managers come to when they know what's technically possible with AI. You become the person who other engineers come to when they need to integrate AI into their systems. And because you understand both traditional backend and AI integration, you can make smart decisions about when to use AI and when not to. The integration of AI into backend systems isn't a trend that might happen someday. It's happening literally right now at companies around the world built by engineers who decided to learn these skills before they became a commodity. Every day you wait is a day that other engineers are getting ahead of you. Every project you build without considering how AI could, you know, make it better is a missed opportunity to practice and improve. But here's the good news. You don't need to become an AI researcher or machine learning expert. You just need to learn how to integrate AI into systems that you're already good at building. And if you start today, you'll be surprised how quickly you can build truly impressive, intelligent applications. See you in the next video.